Okay, so to finish up this eye look, I don't think I'm gonna do false lash. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? My name is Alexa and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be reviewing the Sylvia Gani palette from BH Cosmetics. I finally got my mitts on this one. Um, I've actually had it for about a month now, so I've just been kind of waiting to review it. So I am very excited to do this. And I actually bought it when that sale was going on, where when you buy it online, you got seven different um, eye brushes. So I'm going to be trying out these bad boys as well. They are all brand new, as you can see, because they're all still in plastic. So let's get to it. So I ordered this palette online, um, which you can do from BH Cosmetics, uh, or they now do sell it at Ulta, and it was $24.99, I believe. I'm sorry if you can hear John. He's playing video games with his friends and he's being Anyways, but yeah, so you can get it for $24, which is a great deal because you get um, 20 different eyeshadows and two different highlights. So, so far, so good. So it comes in just like this cool little palette. So it kind of has like this little texture on it, like a faux leather, if you will. And then on the inside, it has this huge peep Lola. What up, girl? <laughs> On the inside, it has this huge mirror and then all of the colors, oops, all the colors then in here. So lots of different pretty shades. And then it has then, I can take this out. Then it has two highlights too, which I know she mixes together. So I think I'm gonna try that out today. So I'm just gonna do my eyes today. I already do have on like my face makeup, um, which I watched the Jeffree Star video on his e.l.f. product review. And I bought some of that foundation and oh my god, it is great. Like, I'm wearing it now and my skin is just fantastic. I had to use two different shades to mix them together, but I think I'm going to redo a review video on that maybe next week because I have a couple other products too that I bought. So I might do like a full face review of like new products that I bought. So stay in tuned for that, but I will link um, my natural face look. I will link everything um, in the description box down below so you guys can look it up if you would like. But I will be doing a full face review of new products probably next week because I got a couple of them and I have some new brushes and stuff I want, really want to test out. So stay tuned. Anyways, getting into the eye look, um, I think I'm going to do more of like a natural look for today. Um, John and I are meeting his parents for dinner tonight, so I don't want anything too crazy too wild so just something a little more natural which there are some really pretty like natural shades in here but I do want to give you guys a good review too so I might have like a little pop of color so the first step that I'm going to do is I'm going to take the 105 brush this one here with this little tiny top on the top I don't know I'll have to look it back up of what this brush set came from I can't remember and I threw the box away so I'll have to go and look at my order online and I will link that down below if you guys want this brush set because I don't know if the deal is still going but it was and when you ordered this palette you got the free brush set so I waited for that sale and I got the free brush set so I'm really anxious to try these out <sighs> anyways I'm going to go in with Prince and then just highlight my brow bone so I'm just going to use this huge huge mirror that's in the palette. Ooh, that's a nice, that's a really nice shimmer. So that is a beautiful shimmer. Like, look at that. Ooh. So far, so good. So I think I've chosen the colors that I want to try out. I am going to go in first with the shade Underrated down here. And I'm going to be using the brush 101, which is this one with like the good fluff, that good fluff. And with this color, I'm just going to swipe it all over the eyelid for a good transition color. Also, I'm not going to worry about fallout or anything because even though I already do have concealer on, at the end, I'm going to just dab a little more so I can make like the natural like line rather than like taping my face I used to tape it and I started to break out 
on these two places so I stopped doing that. So now I just use concealer and just, you know, give it a good old swipe, if you will. So, so far with underrated, um, it's a very pretty shade, but it's very, very light, like you can hardly see it. So it is a good transition shade. It's lighter than I was hoping it would be though, but I do really like this shade so far. Oh yeah, you can definitely tell this one has makeup and this one does not, so. So that shade is just a very nice, light, natural color. I did have to do some building with it, um, but it honestly might be the brush too. This brush is very, very fluffy, um, and I'm not sure how well it is applying the eyeshadow, so I might be using a different brush. This one though is just very similar to one uh, that I usually use for my transition shades, so that's why I picked this one. Um, but maybe I will try out one of the other ones here in this pile. So the next shade that I'm going to be going in with is channel um this little yellow one here and i'm going to be using the brush 103 which is this one a uh, little more a little more stiff to give you so hopefully it will help me build this a lot easier not use so much um product um but yeah so i'm going to take channel and i'm going to put it just out on the outer crease here Ooh, you can definitely see that this brush is a lot, a lot better. I like this brush a lot more than the other one I was using. And I'm going to take the excess of that and just kind of swipe it out here. Because then again, I'm just going to take my concealer later and just make a more natural line with that. So channel is applied and you can definitely tell that colors are very pigmented and I am loving it so far. All right, so the next color I'm going to take is Obsessed, which is this one right here. And I'm just gonna kinda play with this one. I'm kinda curious to see how pigmented it is going to be. Going back in with the Felfy brush from the first one that I used, which is 101. All right, then for my next color, I'm going to go in with Bear, which is this one right down here. And I'm gonna go back in then with uh, the the 103 brush, which is the one that I use for channel um, over the crease. But for bare, I'm just gonna take it and kind of pat it out here, um, kind of smoke out the rest and just kind of blend all the colors together before I go in with, um, with my shimmers. I'm trying to get all the mattes in first, which is what you want to do. So once you put your shimmer in, you're done with. Ooh. That, that's pigmented. It's very pigmented. Holy crap. Oh my god. I wasn't prepared for this. I hardly I had to put any on there. Holy crap. <laughs> okay, so I put bear on the outer uh, the outer corner here and kind of blended it in and then when I did that I kind of lost touch with the channel color so I took the uh, 104 brush which is this one it kind of has the little angle here put channel on that one and just kind of patted it on top just to uh, bring that color back because there is very pigmented and really kind of covered that uh, color up right away and yeah I made a mess with the eyeshadows, but we are cleaning them up at the end. I'm not going to stress about it. All right, I think then for the last color that I'm going to use, I'm going to go in with Queen, which is this shimmer here, and I'm going to take this flat brush, um, just this one here, soft yet again. It is number 102, and I'm going to wet that um, with just my regular setting spray uh, to get the shimmer to stay on that one, and then just pat it on over top. So I kind of went nuts with it and literally threw Queen all over the lids. So yeah, if I zoom in a little more, you can see I really just patted it all on top of here, but it really, um, I really, really like this shade. Um, it is basically like a mixture of channel and bare mixed together into a shimmer, which I really like this. So yeah, I really just, 
really went ham with that one. So, so then for, I think the final thing what I'm gonna do with this eye look is do a little DIY eyeliner. So I'm going to take this angled, very skinny small brush, which is 107, and I'm going to take the shade Unapologetic, which is this black dark one right down here. I'm going to wet this brush yet again with my regular setting spray. And I'm just gonna dip it in and just try to like little do-it-yourself eyeliner and see if that works because I just really, I'm having fun playing with this palette. I like it. So that actually worked out super nicely. Oh my gosh, I love it. Then I just kind of took um, the extra that I had at the end and flicked it out to make it where the, I want the line to go so there's still some eyeshadow down here. And when I put concealer on, I'm going to just take it and just swipe it up there. So, and I did that on both sides too. So if you're ever in a bind and you hate liquid eyeliner, like me, um, little ankle brush, setting spray, black eyeshadow does the trick for you. Boom, done. So now to go in to clean up uh, the eyes a little bit, I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape uh, in shade Light Sand. And I'm just going to apply it like right here, and then right here. And then take my super dirty, disgusting beauty blender and just blend all that out. So let me get this big fat mirror in. Okay, so you can definitely see a difference how there is no more excess eyeshadow here. Tarte Shade Tape really just cleans all that up for you, takes it away, so don't worry about using the tape trick because you will eventually break out from it. So don't do that anymore. Mm -mm. Now I'm going to try out her highlighters to just, you know, add a little something something because I am having so much fun playing with this palette, oh my god. So I'm just gonna mix them both together because I know that's what she does um, and they look really good when she does it. So uh, the colors are called Libra and Opal. Uh, one is more of like a orangey color and the other one's more like pinky sheer. So these two here, I'm going to take this new Hue to Beauty brush that I have. Uh, it's the Face Bake and Blend brush. I'm just gonna blend them out. Do you see that shimmer? I am shook. Wow, this gives you a great highlight. Oh my God, I love this. And then I'm just gonna take some two, tip of the nose. To finish off this eye look, I don't think I'm gonna do false lashes today. I'm just going to be using mascara, which I am going to be using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. So just to pull this whole eye look together, I'm just going to be putting on my Kylie lipsticks uh, in the shade Bare, the one that I wear literally every day because it's basic like me. And then obviously set everything and I'm just using the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. All right guys, so there you have it. This is the final look using Sylvia's palette. I would definitely recommend getting this, especially for only $24, like, and there are some beautiful shades in here. I can't wait to play with the rest of these. Oh, I've already had so many ideas of what I wanna do. Um, I know that this palette did come out like two months or something ago, but it's still new to me, so. Overall though, my final thoughts, I really, really do like this palette. It made a gorgeous, gorgeous look with this. Um, I would definitely, definitely recommend it, especially for the cheap price of $24. Uh, and like I said earlier, you can get it from BH Cosmetics online or you can get it from Ulta. They have it at both places. But yeah, I would definitely, definitely recommend this palette. Like, Sylvia sponsor me, I'm Paul. Just kidding. Um, as for the brushes, um, I didn't get a chance to use all of them. Um, however, this one, the 101, I don't know how I feel about this one. It is a little too fluffy for me. Um, I, it just took a while to build, which I know that her palette shouldn't take that long to build because I've seen other reviews on it. 
So I think if I use my regular Morphe brush that I usually use, uh, it wouldn't take as long. So I don't know if I would recommend this one. The other ones though worked out really well for me. Um, the flat one worked pretty good, which is the 102, which I uh, applied the sheer with or the shimmer with. Um, I didn't use that one. This one, uh, the 107, which I applied my fake eyeliner with, worked out really, really well. Definitely recommend this one. 103 worked out really well. Um, this one that I used uh, the, for the first step to do the highlight up here, 105 worked out super well. Um, and also 104 was really good. So overall, I really do like the brushes. It's just the 101, which I don't know how I feel about this one. I may have to give it another shot, but I don't really like it. Other than that though, these ones worked out really well, and this one was the only one that I did not use, which was 106. It's super tiny, just this one here. Um, this is the only one I didn't use. You probably use it for like inner corner stuff, which I didn't even do because I put shimmer all over my body, so whatever. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much everything that I have to say on this video. Uh, if you liked it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Once I hit 100 subscribers, I get to do John's makeup. Oh, and if you guys liked that last video that I did where he did mine, let me know because I have some other ideas that I want him to be in videos with me for because I think he's funny and adds some humor. So if you liked him, let me know. But also, don't forget to subscribe because I want to do his makeup so bad. Oh my god. And he said he's going to shave for it too. Like, holy crap. That would be amazing. Anyways, guys, thank you so much again for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe down below. Comment. Add me on social media. Whatever you want to do. And I will see you all next week. Bye.